Hello everybody, Bill Risser with Chicago Title. Today in part three of our video series titled Introduction to Evernote, I want to talk about actual note creation. There are many different ways we can create notes, get content into notes inside Evernote. And so we'll do that today. First I want to show you how to create a new notebook that we're going to use to store the notes we build today. So I'm going to go to my file button, I'm going to click on New Notebook, and I can name that notebook, and we'll call this Video Series. And we can, uh, we'll leave it as a synchronized notebook, which means it'll sync across all of our uh, devices. I can make it a local notebook where it's only available on this machine, but I don't really have a lot of use for that. I want to be able to access all of my data. So I'll hit Create, and it's going to create a notebook called Video Series, which we see on the left-hand sidebar, with zero notes in it. So when I click on it, it's empty. How do we get notes in here? Well, the easiest way is to simply just enter a note manually. We'll click on Create a New Note. We'll give it a title. This is video series. And let's go ahead and just enter some data here. First of all, it's in the notebook that we want it to be in, but we can change it if we wanted to. Go through any of those notebooks. Okay. Leave it in video series. I can click here to add tags. I can, just, I can just make a tag right off the top and just create a new tag like that. Or use an existing tag. I know I have one that's called reading. I'll just, I can tag it as I, as I like. And then when I click on the context, the, the body of the note, it brings up my toolbar so I can do different editing to it, but this is a note. And I can, if I wanted to, I can, you know, obviously I can bold this and I can underline it and I can do all the different things that we do in regular notes and regular documents. Okay. So that's the first way that we're going to create a note inside Evernote by simply typing content in. So let's delete this note and look at another way we can create a note. Once again, we'll go to New Note. We'll call it a Video Series. And in this case, I want to show you how to do an audio note, and that's this button right here. When I click on that little microphone, it's going to bring up a bar and it's checking my sound levels. And all I've got to do is hit record, and once it starts, you see the timer going. I'm now recording what you hear, and I can then, when I'm done recording my note, hit save. And it creates an MP3 that I can email and send to anybody I want. By clicking on it, it will actually replay that note we've just recorded. So the second way is an audio note inside Evernote. So let's delete this one. Let's look at another way to create a note. This time we'll drag information directly into the open folder inside Evernote. So we'll go New Note. Once again, we're going to call it Video Series. I can actually grab a document from, from my desktop and just drag and drop it right into the note. It could be a, a PDF, it could be an image, it could be a Word document, Excel document, anything. And now I've created another note simply by dragging something into there. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete that one. Another way we can create a note, once again, we're going to hit New Note, you know, like the video series, let's stick with it. Um, I can actually take a picture directly from my webcam. When I click here, you'll see the webcam come up. At this point, I can hit Take Snapshot, and it will do, give me a countdown so I can be smiling when the picture is ready, which I wasn't. I hit Set, and now we've got this in there as well. So another way to create a note, actually taking a picture uh, right from our, our webcam. Okay, so we'll delete that note. Another way we can create a new note, right? We've taken pictures, we've, we've done audio, we've dragged stuff to the icon. We can also do this. I can actually take the document from my desktop and drag it right onto the Evernote icon instead, icon instead of in the actual document. Same thing happens. It comes up and creates the actual note for you, lets you, you can put it where you want to put it, we'll put it in the video series. That's the default name, but I can always change that or append it. And I've now created a new note inside Evernote by simply dragging a document or an image onto the Evernote icon on my desktop. So there's another way that we can create quickly create a note or get content inside Evernote. I want to go outside of the actual Evernote again and show you another way, and that's via email. I have an email open here, and if I wanted to send this into Evernote because I need to save this information, all I've got to do is forward that to my Evernote address, which I've saved in my contacts. I hit there, I hit send. And it's going to send that email into my Evernote account. Now, it's going to send it into my all inbox or my default notebook, and I can quickly move that as I see fit. So let's go ahead and go back to Evernote, and we'll sync it, because Evernote syncs every five minutes. We'll need to sync it up here. And we should see, when I go to all inbox, that email right here that I just sent in. If I want to change that to video series, I'll just come in here and put it in the right video series. I can tag it as I want, and it's now here and ready to go. So I have that ability to create notes by simply emailing an Evernote note into it. 
One I won't demonstrate for you here in the video, but I can also take a picture with my phone. Any smartphone that downloads the Evernote app, you just sign in on your account and you can take pictures. You can also do the audio note from your phone or your iPad. Finally, probably the one I use the most because I'm always looking for content is I can go back to Google. I can go to a website, say Inman Next, and pull up this article, the reason I attend Real Estate Connect. If I want to save this article into my Evernote account, I'm going to use my the Evernote Web Clipper extension that I've downloaded into my Chrome browser. If you're not using Chrome, you probably should, if nothing else for this reason. And when I click Clip to Evernote here, it, the website I'm on, it gives me three options. I can save the entire article into my Evernote account. I can save the entire page, which has everything. Or I can just save the URL, which is right here. So I have an option. I'll go ahead and just save the article. I'll hit Save Article. I can put it in whatever folder I want to put it in. We'll put it in the video series. I can add tags or a comment if necessary. I just click Save Article. And I've now synced that and connected that into my Evernote account. Now, I can close. This is just telling me there are other notes that are similar. And I can connect them together if I'd like. I'll hit Close there. So let's go back to Evernote and let's go ahead and sync this up and we'll go back into video series and there's the article that I just clipped from the web. So it's very easy to grab content anywhere you are, anything you're doing, whether it's email, you're online, you're talking to somebody and you want to record a message, whatever you're doing, you can get that content into Evernote very easily. So that's, the, that's what we want to talk about today, just the many different ways you can create content and get your notes created inside Evernote. In, as we continue down the road with this series, we're going to talk about how you use this in your business. But now we've covered how to create a notebook and how to create notes. Go play with that. Work on it. Try these different ways yourselves in your accounts. And when we get back for part four, we'll talk more about how to use this for your real estate business. Go out and make it a great day. Thanks. Bye.